everybody. Assalamualaikum everyone. This is Kani Zora Siddiqui. I welcome you to the 10th anniversary of our Islamic Art Festival here in Houston, Texas. Let me introduce Dr. Khwaja Azimuddin, our founder. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you very much Zora. This is uh, Dr. Azimuddin. I am one of the founding members of the Islamic Arts Society. Ye hamara 10wa festival ho raha hai. This is the 10th year we are doing this festival. It's growing bigger every year. This year we had more than 6000 people come over, more than 50 artists and at least 5000 pieces of Islamic art here in these premises. The largest festival of Islamic arts here in America, right here Islamic Arts Festival, Houston, Texas. Thank you very much. Let's go inside the Islamic Arts Festival this year. Here we have Haji Nuruddin, our famous Chinese calligraphy master, showcasing his calligraphy with all of Houston. You can see all of his different sizes of paper that he does his calligraphy on, and he's actually doing live calligraphy as well. And I was lucky enough to get one for myself. Haji Nuruddin is over there in the back, entertaining the art enthusiasts as we speak. We've got a nice crowd going on. Here is live Ebru art going on. Ebru art is a water marbling technique that started out in Turkey. And here are some colorful samples of the artwork happening live here at the festival. We've got some shadow light art. We've got live calligraphy right over here. You can get your name written on any piece of art that you would like any creative papers that you would like. You can get your name written, you can get a dua written, live scriptures are being written here as we speak. Busy. Uh, we're gonna go right over here. I have artist Moina Sajjad. Mashallah, she is a student of Haji Nurdin. Assalamu alaikum, Moina. Wa alaikum assalam. Tell us about your art and we're gonna share it with our friends. Okay. Uh, assalamu alaikum. I'm a mixed media artist and a calligrapher and I live in Dallas, Texas. Um, I am not afraid to try different mediums in my painting and with uh, the calligraphy I have learned is Arabic calligraphy in the Chinese style and it blends beautifully with uh, the colors and the style of my paint. Thank you. You're welcome. We're going to move forward. We've got nice framework, golden frames. We've got Islamic and Arabic jewelry right over here. Take a look with Miss Mona Raja. Assalamu alaikum, Miss Mona. Tell us about your art. Alhamdulillah, I'm a jewelry artist and I do one of a kind designs. And I'm a tessive artist too, art of illumination. And um, this is my, I would say, eighth year at this event. And Alhamdulillah, I'm doing my jaza in calligraphy. And um, it has been wonderful all through years, mashallah. Thank you so much for your participation and all the best. We will move forward over here. We've got porcelain china plates being written with Arabic calligraphy and mosaic work. Brother Murad Jassim. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good to see you. Yes, my name is Murad Jassim. Um, I'm originally from north of Iraq, Kurdistan, Erbil. I moved to here 2004. I am teacher at Harmony Public School. I teach ceramics to 6th, 7th, 8th grade. This is my work, handmade ceramics. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Let's see what else is going on here. We've got beautiful mirror work. Got lots of 3D textures. Got some jewelry boxes. Amazing. Here we have famous um, international artist, Brother Riaz Rafi, with his artwork. And he will be doing a live demonstration tomorrow at 2.30 as well. So, Assalamu alaikum, Brother Riazi. G. English. English. Urdu. English. Kal demonstration hai live four by four canvas or the after calligraphy. Thank you. Acrylic on canvas. The live demonstration. Thank you. 
see you tomorrow. So that'll be at 2.30 tomorrow afternoon. Here's one of my favorite artists, Sister Sayyida Hafsa Ghiyas. Check out her artwork. She actually went to Mecca Medina last year and she created several pieces that are inspired by that. Please tell us a little bit about your art, Hafsa. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Hafsa Ghiyas. And yes, uh, this one you saw my painting last year. And yeah, I tried to make uh, something new. You can see it here and use a 14 karat gold leaf on my painting and uh, also there's a lot of um, work you can see it on acrylic and oil on canvas I love to do work on uh, wood also this time I make sculptures too so yeah <laughs> thank you all the best thank you so much and she will also be here all day tomorrow so make sure you come out to the Islamic Art Festival we will be wrapping it up today in about 30 more minutes and inshallah tomorrow morning we will be open at 10 30 a.m. Let's check out Miss Sanam Nadim. Beautiful 3D artwork. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, Sanam? I'm good, alhamdulillah. How are you? Good. Tell me about your artwork. Uh, what can I say about my artwork? You can see I use, uh, 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 this time I used a lot of resin, epoxy resin art. And um, uh, I love to do the acrylic and oil painting and calligraphy and I came from Austin thank you thank yeah you. thank you so much thank you thank you Sanam here we go here you go lots of 3d artwork going around here is some student artwork that you will see here from our local school Houston Peace Academy where the students have brought their Islamic artwork to life and it's beautiful lots of different textures this is another Academy Everest Academy bringing their talented artwork to the community at large. I'm going to take you to one of our very popular artists, Brother Nizar Meknogia. He is a fine artist and he paints with acrylics on all of these live canvases and I will introduce you to him here shortly with all of his colorful work. Asalaamu Alaikum Brother Nizar, tell us about your artwork. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, oh, thank you. Thank you Zara. Uh, my name is Nizar Meknogia. I'm an artist and here's my artwork. Uh, as you can see, most of them, most of it is Islamic art because we had Islamic art festival I guess and there's my Sufi there Darvesh I specialize in Sufis painting Sufis of course some calligraphy some abstract art and all that Thank you, thank you, all the best. He too will be here all day tomorrow. Make sure you come out and see his fine artwork. Oh my <laughs> We've got the henna station going on here. It is one of our three interactive art activities that we provide to the society as well as the festival at large. We've got multiple henna artists taking care of everyone for their henna needs. Make sure you come on out here. We'll be here today and tomorrow. I'm going to introduce you to artist Nadia Magnogia from the Houston area. She is also um, an Islamic artist and an Ismaili artist. So let me see how she's doing today. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, walikum salam. Tell us about your art. Uh, I do mostly in acrylics and everything is, uh, you see over here, I like to do some detail painting. Uh, and I'm very inspired with uh, Persian art, the tile style and all those things, uh, especially... Tell me about your three and a half hour art piece. Oh. Uh, sorry, three and a half months art piece. Oh, okay. So this is Hitch that took three and a half months. Uh, it has uh, a lot of going on over here. You can see uh, this is uh, the art uh, you can see over here. This takes like hours to just make one block and it has a gold leaf over here pasted. Over here we have Ayatul Kursi in the background of the Sufi. Thank you and let me share with you my personal art. I am hooked on henna. I am Kani Zohra Siddiqui and this is my artwork. Very textured, very dimensional. Lots of different bold colors that I like to feature. 
and certainly a crowd favorite. I love coming here every year, creating new things to share with the community at large. And I will take you down here through the red carpet area. We have a children's area, lots of activities for our young kids, our young Muslim generations, lots of coloring activities. We have beadwork activities. We have over here some paper activities with some paper art, some yarn work. And here is our little bead station. You can see where the volunteers are assisting the young children play with the beads, nice and colorful inter interactive art as well. We, we have a nice crowd here. Let me weave my way through and take you to another amazing artist, Ms. Farah Ahmad. She is a master in Kufic art, Kufic calligraphy, and here she is showcasing her artwork and I will introduce you to her right over here looking beautiful in her ethnic attire. Assalamu alaikum Farah, how are you today? Good, alhamdulillah. Tell us about your artwork. This is my all Kofik, uh, Kofik work. Uh, this is alhamdulillah, all texture, mixed media work. And this is alhamdulillah, this is al -Badud. Thank you. Beautiful. All the best. And again, Farah will be here all day tomorrow as well. Here we have the emerging artists that have been welcomed to the Islamic Art Festival this year. They demonstrate their artwork. They demonstrate their calligraphy. I have Miss Maria Ali right here. She is demonstrating some watercolor techniques and she will be writing calligraphy. So you can actually come get your name written in calligraphy. Here is Miss Noreen with her Islamic calligraphy. We've got some metal art here, custom metal artwork, some canvas paintings, and then back to the end. From 10.30 to 5. Let me introduce you to another amazing 3D artist. She's not in the booth right now, but we can still check out her epoxy resin, large scale geode inspired artwork. So we invite you guys to all come out tomorrow, 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and also take a look at all of the live art demonstrations, the interactive live activities, the children's activities, not to mention everything inside is entertaining as well. And we also have a truck, um, food truck station outside. So bring your families, bring your friends, bring your surroundings, bring everyone and come join the 10th Islamic Arts Festival tomorrow.